Hi guys, Dom here. Welcome. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit chilly here in Sydney today. So what I thought I'm going to start to do is I'm going to record every workout this week and then I'm going to post it. And if you guys want to have a go, have a go. Um, part of this is just to, I suppose, share with you what the programming is that we do in our training for our clients this week. So um, one second. All right, so today's workout is body weight. It's a mix of a few different things. Um, the only thing we're gonna need is the mat, um, just cause the concrete floor is a little bit cold on the bottom um, and the hands. But in essence, it's an AMRAP. So the clock will be running for 30 minutes. The idea of this is there are eight exercises. I simply want you to do 10 reps of every exercise. That's it. Okay, get those eight exercises, get those 10 reps done. Don't do them super fast. I just want you to be consistent. Where you can, if you can go quickly, go quickly, but don't sacrifice the form. The whole idea of this is to complete the round within the five minute period. If you finish it at four minutes and 30 seconds, then you have earned yourself 30 seconds of rest. If you have finished it at four minutes and 58, man, time to just suck it up and get back into this. So the quicker that we do it whilst maintaining our form, we'll earn some rest. If we don't, don't worry about it. Just keep going. If we can, then we will see six rounds of five minutes, therefore six times through. If you only get through it three times, get through it three times, that's also good. The whole idea of this is to test you. We're gonna pair some push-up related activities today with some abdominal activities. So let's just go through them. So the first one, simple, is what we call an iguana. Think about this as a traveling push-up each time that you move forward. So just a simple demonstration, what goes forward will also go backwards. So getting down, push-up position, step forward, down. Up, down, up, and back. Okay, five forward, five back, that's our 10. Exercise two, simple knee tucks. Okay, if you want to, hands behind your back, tuck in, extend. If you want to lay down, lay down. If you're comfortable, you've got no problems with lower back, you can do it without your hand support. Number three, glute bridge. Very simple, no weight. Push up, squeeze, squeeze, down, relax. Push up, squeeze, squeeze, relax. I'm right up in my shoulders. Okay, reverse crunch. All we wanna do, laying down, drive our heels and get our hips up off the floor. From here, my hands as a base, that's one, that's two. The higher we go, the higher the drive, the more I want. Komodo hands, again, push up position. You may want to use the mat. We're simply going to pulse. We're gonna switch our hands. If we can't, option two is just a little pump. But when we're doing Komodo hands, you only count the one hand, so that is one, two, all right? That'll go straight into 10 full lockout push-ups. So here, base, wide, down, one, two, three, push, push, push. So 10 and 10, otherwise little pulses. And if you have to, on your knees for that last 10. Final two, a little low lunge. For those with some knee problems, come down to here. Simply stepping through, stepping through. Keep my hips in line, my knees in line. For those who can, it's a little pulse. One, two, and you're carrying the one leg. Last one, a little walkout. What I want you to do, Feet is our base, take our hands, 
Walk out to a push up. Back up, want something extra? Walk out, push, lock up. Stand. As you see, I'm a little out of breath already. That's the workout for today. Set the clock, 30 minutes, six rounds. 30 minutes, three rounds. Guys, just get it done. Enjoy, I'm Don McStraw. It's my little studio. Welcome to the McStraw Method.